What's up YouTube, Capital G here. This match looks like it's only maybe a couple of turns in, and I find it, I find Volcanics to be a very interesting deck. ARG Doom Caliber, um, he's 1547, Philip Arsenal, 1492. Got double Denko Seca, damn. Okay, I guess he's just scoop phasing. I don't know what, what, what if that was like game one, two, or what. Okay, so that was game one. Um, Denko Rekka put in some serious work. Um, bad bitch extraordinaire doing that damn thing. It's kind of crazy because he, he had, um, like he, he still had the reload live. So, I mean, I, I don't know if he just didn't have scatter shots or what, or if he already used them, but like if uh he already used them i guess all he needed to draw was like royal fire guard to send him back to the deck and potentially draw two i'd go second in this matchup it's not even like especially if i know you're running denko Rekka. like people just I, I feel like so many people are scared to go second and like all the good players know especially if you lose game one like you really want to go second then unless you really think that you're going to hit your floodgate cards and if those floodgate cards aren't hand traps, I guess. All right, so Philip Arsenal opens with L, and summons my favorite girl in the game, Wenda. I think that was dra uh, Beast that he gave up. So yeah, so he goes double set. There's no back row, but then again, they only run. They only run like um, what's it called? They only run like one trap. All right, so he already has a wind out <laughs> with Phoenix on wind blast. Although I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it 100. Um, the Falco is the bigger problem. The wind is not really that much of a problem. <clears throat> he opts to take volcanic shell. Maybe he already has a wing blast. I don't know. The vanities would have been nice if he would have went first, but he didn't. Which again, I don't, I don't think it's that big of an issue. So let's see with four back row what he can do and just hope he doesn't run into Denko Rekka again. Hedgehog is played. Shadow Mirror is chained. Okay. He plays Mathematician. He's got to be careful here because Mathematician can dump Phalus and he can go for um, Arcanite. And there's Phalus. Um... Philip Arsenal is going to try and Arcanite twice because he can make Arcanite with Wind of Falco also. Keep that in mind. He just wants to see if this one's going to go first. Oh, or he can do it with Hedgehog and Phalus. I never thought about that, honestly. I, I'm so used to using Mathematician, so yeah, I guess he can use Hedgehog and Phalus. Nope. No, he's not. He's just going to go Battle Phase. It's been a, it would have been a great time for a mirror force. Oh my god. Even a D prison, honestly, just D prison to fail us away and just. So he doesn't go for any type of extra deck play. Remarkable. Um, Philip Arsenal finally decides he wants to play a monster. And a good one to have. He gets, uh, reload. I have to imagine that you are going to attack the um either the hedgehog or the falco. Like I would see no reason not to. Or the Phalus. That's legitimate option as as well. Don't get me wrong. I mean he can still synchro though, because he still has a tuner to set Falco. He's gonna activate reload. This is gonna be really, really big if that card is able to resolve or not. If he has scatter shot. So, <clears throat> okay, um, maybe Philip Arsenal has an L set or something like that. He says end of main one. Now he's in battle phase. Okay, so he opts to use defusion. This is kind of risky because he could have L. He could still use L. 
I mean, I think he would have already if he had it. Oh, wait. I'm getting the enemy controller shakes. I, I tell you what, man. Whenever, if I'm playing against Shadows and my life points get low, man, those enemy controller shakes, just serious. All right, he gets the main phase two. You're in good shape now. <clears throat> he enters main phase two. He can still use reload pretty much at any time. I guess he just doesn't have that scatter shot. So he's going to activate shell and he draws two. Well, he draws one for turn and one for re um, reload. I, I totally didn't realize that you drew a card for reload. That card is fucking sick. <laughs> that card is, is damn sick. And it's during either player's turn. So you basically get to, like, during your opponent's main phase two, you can discard a shell, draw one, get another shell during your turn, discard it, draw another one. He activates Magic Planter, drawing two more. So he needs monsters now. All right, he plays Snatch Steel on Equips Wyvern. And now he's going to do some more discarding action. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the effect that uh, lets you dump into the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, okay. So now he plays um, Scattershot. He does 1,500. He totally uh, nukes Philip Arsenal's board. And then he plays as that, Mermilio? Man, this dude is just full of tricks. He has everything in this deck. Now he has Mermillo. Let me ask you something, YouTube. <laughs> when was the last time that you saw a field that had an earth, a fire, and a light monster at the same time? I don't think I've ever seen that shit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a fire, an earth, and a light monster at the same time on a field. That shit is crazy. All right, so he's going to attack. He plays Shot All Core. Um, none of the monsters are big enough to get over that. I don't know what that damage is, but I'm pretty sure he would have gained them with Cowboy. Um, cause 32 plus, um, what's it called? That, I think that's 51 right there, right? I think that's 51 total plus eight with Cowboy. So that's definitely game. I could be wrong. All right. So he's going to play Dagusto Emerald. He gets rid of, um, his Mermillo, I guess he, yeah, he wants to, he wants to put all them scatter shots back in the deck. Not only the draw one, but so that he can just reuse them later. <clears throat> you know, sometimes you can use Royal Guard and that can get your scatter shots back in the deck, but yeah, no shame in Digusto Emerald. Now the problem is you did give your opponent an XC. So, you know, better hope that they don't have that fusion. <clears throat> now it looks like he's going to opt to play Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I get what he's going to do. He's dumping the original, um, what's it called? The original Shadow Fusion in the graveyard so that core can give him the original fusion. So he's got it now. <clears throat> now, you, you won't take any damage from attacks if he makes Construct. Although, I guess if he attacks the rocket, then you totally will take damage. But if he attacks Construct, you won't. And keep in mind, he has no way of, oh, well, there's that. Um, he can't really do anything against Dinko Rekka because, uh, he, he doesn't, he doesn't have enough life points to play, to pay for warning. Now, the good thing is he knows, I can't honestly think what Foolish Burial is going to do in this situation. I, I just, I can't. There, there's nothing I can think of that, that I would want to Foolish. Unless it's Glow Up Bulb and I don't play that shit, so... I actually cited Glow Up Bulb when, um, in my later ages of playing Shadows because I was sick of losing the killer. And, um, if you make Shigenaga, uh, you can, what's it called? You can Glow Up Bulb. Like, if your opponent has extra deck monsters and they're playing, um, they're playing Cleese, you can, you can fusion for, um, Glow Up Bulb and, like, a random Shadow, maybe Beast, you draw one, and then you make Shigenaga. And then basically you uh you what's it called um you go in the star eater and then you just attack over killers or you can just dump it from mathematician and like you can just l that way you can dump the uh the monster I'm kind of surprised that he decided to attack to attack the um the digusto I guess he figured he couldn't kill both and he didn't want him using digusto again 
So it kind of sucks for him because, yeah, a Dinko record just gets run over, and now his infinite back row gets turned back on. And he's not going to be dumb about it. He's just going to go ahead and use that shit. I mean, there is an off chance that he can draw another Denko record, but fuck it. Why? Like, why even, you know, why even mess with it? Just go ahead and use it now. Evac looks like the best card. I don't agree with that. Vanity is cool, but your opponent's at 5,000 light points. Um, Philip Arsenal scoops. I just feel like Evac would have been better just because what if they set something? If they said something, I'm I'm just going to evac it and summon a monster, attack, attack, maybe cowboy. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think evac just would have been better because it covers more. I mean, what if you top deck snatch steel? Like, I evac it. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> There's Vanities was cool, but evac did the same thing, in my opinion, in that situation. So, looks like Doom Cow is going first. I actually didn't realize how fast um, the volcanic deck can be. I just don't know, like sometimes it seems like they're drawing into like sort of random cards, you know what I mean? Like they need to draw into the right ones. Now it does, it does appear that Doomkill has a ton of draw power. I mean, he has duality, we'll count that. He has um, Blaze Accelerator. <laughs> he preemptively, all right, see, remember when I was talking about that Denko Rekka video about how... um What's it called? How people will pre, if they know you're playing Denko Rekka, they'll preemptively activate shit. That's right. That right there is what I'm talking about. Now he'll go for Phyllis and the question will be, does he have scattershot to get rid of the fucking Phyllis slash map petition? If he does, he'll, uh, ARG Doom Cow will probably win this match. If he has, if he's able to discard, um, scattershot, he'll win. And there it is. He's going to win <laughs> because he's going to lose Mathematician. Phyllis doesn't matter. The Mathematician and the Phyllis combined matters because that's Black Rose. <clears throat> he loses both of them. And ARG Doomcow gets a card out of it. And he can't special. Oh, my goodness. That was huge. That play was crazy. Now he activates Shell and he gets another draw. All right, so I believe he has four. I believe he's four deep in his graveyard, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not gonna lie, that combo is cute, but it's effective. Like usually, when I say cute, it's somewhat demeaning. That combo is fucking legit. The fact that you go shell during your opponent's main uh, phase two and you draw, then you activate shell, and then you pitch shell, and then you draw again. Like you, you just gotta, you just gotta plus two for no, for no reason at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that is that's cute and it's legit. So now Philip Arsenal activates Shadow Fusion, and ARG Doom Cow is pretty smart. He's not giving him any free shit. He's not giving him any free lunches. He brings out Construct, but <clears throat> he's going to activate... Oh, man, that's bad. <clears throat> he's making sure that Construct goes back to the extra deck. I guess he just doesn't want him being able to, to do anything, any shenanigans like OTK-ish or anything like that. I was thinking maybe Philip Arsenal would chain MST. Okay, he might have Blackluster, or he doesn't. How did he? Okay, I thought he special from the graveyard at first. I'm like, what? Ah, there's BLS. BLS might be able to do some big damage. Oh, okay, so he activates Soul Transition. Let me make sure I got that card's name right. <clears throat> and honestly, he... The, the the irony in that is that he actually takes less damage activating Soul Transition. He activates Reload in the main phase too um, to draw a card, and then he draws another one during his turn. He activates um, it again to draw another card. Now he activates Rocket to get a third one. He oh my goodness! Can you feel the power? Oh my good, the snatch deal is real. <sighs> Again, for everybody out there who said snatch deal was banished, Robbie Cole, or excuse me, who said snatch deal was balanced and it wouldn't do anything, and people who wanted to dick ride Patrick Hoban, yeah, about that. The thing about this matchup was, um, even though Philip Arsenal's life points, or excuse me, ARG Doom Cow's life points were going down, 
it, he was drawing too many cards not to draw game breaking cards in my opinion when he normal summoned rocket i was like eh, i would have liked for him to go fire guards because he kind of wanted to probably reuse the um the scatter shots but i mean with every deck in the game playing snatch steel it was only a matter of time before he drew that or regeki and he basically was able to mount him thank you guys for watching as always